My name is Mallory, and when is the last time you planted in the garden in the winter? Usually, when gardening, we think of the sun, beautiful flowers, and being outside. But even in the winter, we can still do a summer activity. I will be showing you how a garden can be done inside. The garden is called the eggshell planting plot. I will first list the supplies needed for this activity, make a step-by-step -step demonstration, explain the most efficient way to do this, and then provide information needed to help your garden grow and the next steps needed once your garden is complete. The supplies needed for this project is an egg carton, potting soil, spoon, a needle, knives, seeds, plot, and stove, spray bottle, and a half an egg carton. In the first step is preparation. First boil the eggs and let them cool. You can then crack the top and use a spoon, a smaller spoon, to take the egg out. Then rinse the shell out with water. So here's the hard boiled egg. Here's the, I cracked the top, took the egg out. I use Noah's spoon because it's small and it fit in. Once the eggs are hollow, place them back on the shell and throw away the rest of the stuff inside or you can use the egg for a different recipe. Next step is to make room for the roots once they start growing and to provide a, provide a drainage area for excess water. We will be starting by using a pin or needle or anything sharp. Today I'm going to use the sewing needle which works best for me. Pick up one egg carefully and hold it in one hand and then puncture a small hole at the bottom. Only do one small hole because the more you do, it seems to crack. Place the egg back in the carton and finish the rest of the eggs. This one, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a hole. It took me a few tries because I tried to use a knife and it kept cracking. This one didn't crack. Once we are done, we can clean up the supplies we have used and then move on with the project. Now we can start getting our hands dirty. We will use a spoon in potting soil. Open a small bag of potting soil, planting soil and use the spoon to fill the egg halfway. Then set the bag of soil aside. If the soil is dry, then use a spray bottle with water to get it damp, but do not overwater it. So this is one I just used to crack the top and put the soil in. Now it is time for the seeds. I will be using mixed seeds, but really any kind of seeds will do. When choosing your seeds, it is hard to decide where your garden will be, for instance, in the shade, by the window, in sunlight. Then pick flowers, herbs, or vegetables, or fruit accordingly. On the back of the packet, the seeds will tell you the best care for it. After, you can either place the seed in, and cover it with a little bit more soil or make a small hole, hole with your finger and then place the seed in and cover it back up. Once we are done with our garden, it is important to inform you of some aftercare instructions. It is important to label if you have more than one seed. In each shade, we can plant different seeds, but this can get confusing. One way to deal with this problem is labeling for the plant. Write down the name and if they were better in the shade of lighting. We can use a marker to write the name on the outside of the shell or use small coffee stirs and write the names down and attach them to them. We could also write down on the carton what each seed is. This whole project is about using our creativity and being able to make it your own. The labeling is one way to do this. There's no right or wrong way. I used the same kind of seeds for all of mine, so I didn't use the label which are all back here in these two. After your seeds begin to grow, the next steps can be taken. Some heavier plants with strong roots can be placed with the eggshell and still attached and plant into the ground when it's warmer out. Some seeds that have smaller roots, it's easier just to take it and just slowly crack the eggshell and you can still plant some of the eggshells in the garden. Once the plant begins to grow larger, we can begin planting into a larger storage, which can be done in a larger planting plot or into the ground. So this activity gives a lot of wiggle room to be creative. You can design it however you would like. 
with your favorite kind of seeds. You can make your own kind of label, and then in the summer you can expand it or keep it simple. This activity is very therapeutic for someone who likes to garden. It gives someone something to look forward to in the winter. This is called the eggshell planting box, but when you're finished, you can rename it and specialize it according to your own liking. I'm enjoying seeing my plants grow over the next few weeks, and if anyone has any questions, I'll love to answer them. Yeah.